Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test your manual trading strategy on CTrader trading platform. CTrader is a, if you don't know, CTrader is a Forex and CFD trading platform like MetaTrader. And um, it's free, similar to MetaTrader. You can use it without uh, having uh, to buy it or ha ha to use any broker. I use Sportward C Trader beta version. You can download this from the Sportward site. It's free. You don't have to have any account on C Trader supported brokers. And once you install this uh, Sportward C Trader beta, or or if you have any uh, other broker C Trader, you have to install the manual strategy tester C bot, which is a bot or algo or in terms of Meta Trader, it's an expert advisor. Uh, you have to install it. I have posted the uh, CBOT link on the video description. You can get it uh, for free from our site. It has a 10 day free trial version. And uh, if you liked it, then you can uh, buy the paid version. I already installed the manual strategy tester on my CTrader platform. So uh, once you open your CTrader, you will see the trading uh, uh, section or trade tab. Uh, to go to the uh, first, uh, you have to go to the automate tab to use the manual strategy tester. Go uh, click on the automate uh, tab here. If the menu is uh, collapsed, you can expand it like this. Go to the automate tab. Here, find the, the manual strategy tester uh, inside your C box list. It will be, um, as, as you can see, it's here. If you don't see it or you can't find it, it means it's not installed on your platform. So you have to install it first. Uh, once you find it on the C box, you can also use the search box if you have lots of bots. Uh, once you find it, click on the uh, add an instance or this plus icon you see here. Select the sample you want to perform your test. You can change it later. It doesn't matter. I will select the EUR USD. Okay. It opens the hourly time frame by default. So it's where uh, you can run your uh, CBOTs. Uh, you have to go to the backtesting tab. You can see it here. This is the CTRADER backtester. It's a very future rich backtester. Uh, and uh, you can uh, set the capital of your account, set the commission per lot in terms of USD and the type of data. Uh, there are four types of data. Tick data, which is a, uh, the most accurate type of data. It, it's not available on uh, MetaTrader. Uh, so uh, it's one of the key features of CTRADER that you can test your uh, strategies on tick by tick under uh, percent real market condition data. Uh, and you can select it if you want to. You can also import your own price data if you have any. So if you want to import your own uh, data, you, you have to select this option. For um, M1 bars, uh, it's also coming from the broker side or uh, you, you have to use this. Or if you want to test on, I don't recommend using H1 bars, but if you want to, you can select it. I use the M1 bars because it's, it's a little bit faster, but for accurate test, I recommend you to use the tech data. Now I'm going to select the M1 bars from server open prices, okay? If you use the tick data, there is no uh, spread setting because the speed will come from the data itself. But if you uh, use the M1 uh, boards or any other of these three options, you have to set the spread. Set it, uh, you can use the live spread, uh, which is in your USD, uh, in, it's in TIPS. The unit is a TIPS, so uh, I select, set it to a fixed amount, something like, uh, I think the your USD median uh, spread is somewhere between uh, two pip, uh, two pips spread. I set it to three. Uh, so uh, here I set it to three pips. Now uh, I selected the M1 bar, set the commission, capital, and spread. Let's set the uh, time period of our back test. I set it to this. You can see. Um, the export war C trader uh, has a maximum uh, data of uh, from 2011 to now. Uh, I, if you want more data, I uh, I recommend you to use the FX Pro C trader. You don't have to have an account on FX Pro. You can download the FX Pro C trader from their site and open a demo account like the same way you did it on uh, Sport War C trader. They have the largest amount of historical data uh, among other C trader brokers. So uh, you can use the, uh, their C trader platform if you want more data. 
Um, so uh, I set the, the start period to 2011 and end period to 2031 and 2019, which is not, uh, the last, uh, last available uh, at the time uh, on the data. Uh, one thing that you have to not forget, you have to take the visual mode. What's the visual mode? Uh, visual mode is what uh, uh, allows you to see the, uh, the data on the chart. If you don't uh, set the visual mode, everything will happen on the background. And once the backtest has finished, you will see only the results. So for uh, manual backtesting, you have to turn on the visual mode. Uh, so uh, turn it on. Here you can set the speed of uh, the backtest. Uh, I set it to 50. Later, I will increase it. Or okay, set it. I will set it to um, 1x because it it's get a little bit time to load the manual static register window. And uh, for adding indicators, you can use uh, this F uh, icon here. Uh, you have all the indic the built-in indicators you need, like moving average, uh, oscillators, volatility indicators, volume indicators and there are some other indicators and uh, if you have uh, custom indicators you can also use your custom indicators for manual backtesting as you can see i have lots of them what i uh, uh, i'm going to do i will add a simple uh, same or okay i will add an exponential moving average to my chart with uh, 14 periods i will change the color of it to a little bit thicker color change the thickness to two Okay, we have everything set up, uh, uh, and here uh, you can set the. It's not available in the current version of Manual uh, Stroud Register, but uh, once uh, we release this version, which I'm using, you will have a button on your chart. If you close the window, you will be able to use that button to reopen it. The current version doesn't have this feature because uh, the custom UI feature was not available in CTRADER 3.5. It's uh, a lot of version of CTRADER 3.6. It's not available uh, currently for uh, production or broker CTRADERs. It will be available very soon and we will release this version which has the button. So these parameters are not uh, important uh, for now and you don't ha have to use it. I don't. Uh, set any parameter there. So let's start back this thing. If I think everything is set up, okay. Uh, to start the back test, click on the display icon button. You can pause the back test and you can, if you stop the back test, you will see the result and everything. So uh, you don't, you should not stop it. You always have to pause it. And once you finish, click on the stop button. Okay, let's start. Now it starts downloading the historical data from the server. Uh, as you can see, it's very fast because I use the M1 bots. If it was the tick data, it will be a little bit slower and get lots of time to download the, the tick by tick data. So it's a little bit faster as you can see. Also, it depends on your internet connection. Okay. As you can see here, the, the backtest is running, but it's uh, the uh, speed is one x, which is me, me, which it means that the speed is similar to the exact speed of the uh, uh, chart. Now, it, it, okay, it is the manual strategy tester window. It's where uh, let me pause the back tester. Okay. So the, this window allows you to execute orders, manage your open orders, and uh, have lots of good features. Like um, you have everything that you need for executing a market order or pending order. Here you can set the type of order, sample, uh, volume, stop loss, take profit, everything. So uh, let's uh, increase the speed a little bit. I will use a simple trading strategy here. If the price goes above the moving average and forms a uh, three uh, bullish candle, I will sell. If it was below the moving average and form three bearish candle, I will buy. Okay, it's kind of a mean reversion uh, trading strategy. Uh, you don't have to keep this uh, here. You can minimize it unless you see a signal. Also, I will increase the speed to 10x. Okay. 
Uh, let me increase it a little bit more. So five hundred, one thousand. Okay, it's now five. I keep increasing the speed. Okay. Okay, I think we have a signal here. We had one, two, three, four, five consecutive bullish candles. Four of them were above the MA. Here we, uh, I will sell, and when price came back below the EMEA, I will close my position. So I will open the manual strategy to store, and, uh, and uh, I will execute a sell uh, market order. Set the direction to sell, no stop, lose, or take profit. Uh, volume is the minimum amount of volume of the URHD symbol, which is 1,000 units or 0 0.01 lots. Okay, place order, sell. Yes, I want to confirm. Okay, we have the order here. Uh, ID, symbol, volume, direction, entry price. Uh, as you can see, I have paused the uh, backtester. You can pause the backtester, execute your, your orders, then uh, again start the backtester. Creation date. To modify the position, use this icon. Click on this. The order uh, data will be available on uh, modify order form. You can change everything and then again click on the uh, yeah, this button will change to modify. Okay. For closing this position, you can use this. We have the order. Now I will minimize this and see what's going to happen. Okay. I will decrease this bit a little bit. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen. Come on. Oh. Okay, I think we touched the moving average. Now I will close the my order. Okay, let's click on the close button. Close. Uh, you can disable this confirmations from the thing, so there will be no confirmation anymore. By default, it's turned on. Yes, I want to close. Position closed. Okay, look. Here you see the result of the position. It was a losing position, and you see the equity and the balance. This blue line shows your balance and the equity. This uh, gray area around the blue line shows your equity during the when position was open, how low the equity go, go goes, and how uh, high it goes. And also here, the statistics will be not be available unless you finish the uh, click on the pause button. But yes, in history, you will see the position. Here is the position that I just closed. The gross return was 86, 86 uh, cents and the net return was 92 cents. It, there was a 0 0.06 uh, uh, commission. And uh, let's keep going. Okay, again, we have a um, signal here. As you can see, we got uh, three uh, more than three bearish candles below MA. I will buy again here. I will set the direction to buy volume 1000 placed or yes. Okay, it's the last order in this video. Also, uh, yeah, I will finish my backtest uh, when I close this uh, order. So let's start the backtest again.
okay price touch the ma line now i'm going to close our buy position it's also a losing position unfortunately okay you see it is uh, now in history we had the buy position closed the lose of this was this much and here in equity curve this was the first position you see one and here you see two we executed two position the statistics are not available but once i uh, click on the close uh, the on the stop button it will be available so okay you see the statistics of your uh, test here the equity drawdown uh, balance drawdown total paid commission net profit everything is here and your equity chart is three uh, for events you can here see the uh, position creation position close creation position of the new position and close and we have no open position as the back test is uh, finished you can uh, load any other indicator you have and uh, test any kind of a strategy on any of the supported c traders uh, time frames as you can see from one minute time frame to monthly time frame also the print uh, c trader backtester doesn't support backtesting on this other kind of c trader uh, uh, charts like Rinko range and tick but i think it will be available on the next version so you will be also uh, um, able to uh, manual test uh, you are test with a manual strategy on Rinko charts which is very popular uh, and the range charts and tick charts so what's the difference between uh, as you can see it says that the back this thing is a stop c bought a stop the manual c has been stopped exit and what's the difference between this um, um, market uh, simulation uh, uh, tool or at, uh, with other uh, simulation tool that are available for retail forex and cft traders first it will cost less and it has more futures you have um, um, uh, you can test it on different brokers yeah, different uh, uh, samples you're not limited to any, anything you can import your own data you have uh, tech data which come free for uh, for you from the uh, broker server or spot war server as uh, in my case and uh, um, you have access to a great uh, back testing tool just by using this uh, cbot to get the cbot please use the video description link if you have any question or suggestion leave a comment in the video or contact us via our site uh, we are very open uh, about our products so we love to hear from you what you think about this bye